Two days after members of a Somali terrorist group invaded an upscale Nairobi shopping mall, gunfire and explosions could still be heard. Amateur footage has emerged of shoppers in the Westgate shopping mall from Saturday as the militants attacked. Bewildered shoppers crouch in the aisles of the Nakumak store as gunfire is heard. Kenyan authorities now say they have taken control of nearly all of the mall, where the Al-Shabaab gunmen killed dozens. Dark plumes of smoke rose from the mall after four large explosions, giving the neighborhood the feel of a war zone. I want to say that the uh, smoke you are seeing from the building is as a result of the terrorists putting, uh, setting some mattress on fire to distract our action. Lanky was certain that there were a few, if any, hostages left in the building. Officials said that three attackers had been killed in the fighting Monday and more than 10 suspects arrested. By evening, Kenyan security officials were claiming the upper hand. Kenyans and foreigners were among those confirmed dead. Five Americans were reported injured in the mass shooting. President Barack Obama is pledging U.S. support for Kenya. Uh, this, I think, underscores the degree to which all of us as an international community have to stand against the kind of senseless violence uh, that uh, these kinds of groups represent. Al-Shabaab, an extremist Islamic terrorist force, says the attack targeting non-Muslims was in retribution for Kenyan forces' 2011 push into neighboring Somalia. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.